hello and welcome back to 3D Tutor video in which I will show you how to curve your UV maps. So as you can see over here, we have ourselves a nice arcway that goes around this door over here. And if we go on to edit mode and um, within UV editing mode, we can see that it's straightened out. So how do we actually get that? Because by default, if we were to just use smart UV project, we'd get something like this. And this is not what we want. So let me just go ahead and click Ctrl Z to undo it. How do we actually get that? Well, I will show you within this part over here. Let me just go ahead and do it from scratch. So first things first, what I will do is just I will apply a material. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to already, I already have myself a nice wood PBR material. Let me just go ahead and select it like so. And this is what I'm going to get as a starting point. I'm also going to isolate this entire object to show you what I have at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I basically deleted the back sides and the bottom. So whenever I'm unwrapping, it doesn't interfere. Alternatively, you would need to just unwrap it normally first with marking uh, seams. So what you could do is you could just go ahead and grab, uh, for example, corners like this uh, in wherever you need to. Then you can just right click with an edge mode select uh, selection and simply mark seam. By doing this in areas uh, around uh, these points over here for example you want to make sure that whenever it's unwrapped it's properly straightened out and there's no points where it um, confuses the unwrapper itself in regards to the setup i tried to avoid it so that's why we're putting it at the back for example if we would have a uh, basis over here we'll actually go ahead and do it i uh, will show you how it works so i'm going to go ahead and mark seam over here i'm not going to do it for the inside for example to avoid the seam so now that we have it like so, I can go ahead and select it all. I can click U and I can UV unwrap. And the first thing that I noticed, actually, I just realized I forgot to reset transform. I'm going to go back onto object mode real quick. I'm going to hit shift A and reset the rotation and scale like so. Then I'm going to go back onto edit mode, select it all by clicking A. Go click U to unwrap it with a simple unwrap at the moment. We're going to get ourselves this type of setup. So this one turned out all right. This one, it was just a straight setup and it just unwrapped it in a straight kind of way. But the other one is quite an issue. So how do we deal with it? Well, first of all, I'm going to click L, to select the entire section. I'm going to click G to go off to the side a little bit. Now we're going to make you something called, if you click U, there's something called follow active quads. Before actually using that, I recommend you to changing the selection a little bit because this is based on the active quad that you're using. So the final selection of a face, when you are, for example, within uh, the face selection of the UVs, you can select the faces, you can deselect the faces like so and select them. And the last one that's going to be selected, you'll notice that it actually has a white highlight. This one is basically the main selection that the active quads, uh, follow active quads are going to use so we need to make sure that it's selected but make sure that the dot that's in the middle of the face is actually turned orange otherwise if it's deselected it's going to be active quad but at the same time it's not going to be selected so just make sure whenever for example we have the entire selection selected just uh, double click uh, holding shift and that would basically make sure that the active quad is the one that's uh, supposed to be and i'm just going to select the one that's in the middle you either want to select the one that's in the corner or the middle uh, up to you really and once you have it selected you just go ahead and click u follow active quads and click ok we don't care about the options because we will have those options at the bottom left hand corner and we're going to get ourselves this result if we were to change this from even to uh, length or length average for example we're going to get ourselves uh, different results and it might also be the case that uh, i didn't select the right uh, type of a base previously when i was doing the door i didn't have uh, the edge over here so i just selected the one in the middle face over here now i'm just going to go off to the side actually or even i will go ahead and select the bottom one over here maybe see if that does it better so i'm just going to go ahead and select this one at the bottom I'm going to go ahead and Again, unwrap it with even. Let me just go ahead and see which one is doing it better. This doesn't seem to do much better, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to face selection over here. I'm going to go ahead and just select it like so. We can do that as well. I'm going to hit follow quads, see if that works now. And there we go, much, much better. Although it seems like slightly distorted over here. 
that is totally okay because we're getting the right type of result over here if i were to just scale these up for example right now we can see that we're getting ourselves a nice grain flow going around the arcway and yeah that's pretty much it in regards to the setup nothing overly complex just make sure to select the right type of a setup and over here this is what i got basically with the selection because i had the entire selection done i just simply selected it all selected the one in the middle hit unwrap follow active quads based on length or sorry i think this one was based on even there you go and we're going to get ourselves this type of result so just play around with the settings get the one that you like as a final example Let's say you have something like this as a final example. We have a bunch of spiraling areas and we need to set it up, uh, let's say, as a wood spring of some sort. Let's go ahead and just use that. I'm simply using wood because it's such a nice uh, grain to make use out of. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, the first thing that we need to do is determine where we're going to have the seams over here. So at the top and the bottom, we're going to have to make sure that we have seams over here just to kind of close in the areas where it's going to wrap around i'm just going to select these then going to go on to edge mode going to right click and mark seam like so the other one i'll need to grab myself one edge to make sure that this is properly roundly unwrapped i'm going to just grab holding alt clicking and just going to select this entire edge loop going all the way to the top to the very top over here and i'm seeing that it's actually spiraling over here but there's nothing really we can do uh, we're just going to have one seam going all the way so sometimes it's going to be at the top sometimes that's the bottom i think that's going to be more than okay all right once we have the seam selected let's go ahead and mark the seam like so again and then we're pretty much going to go ahead and select it all click you you to unwrap like so and we're going to get ourselves this type of result which is already looking pretty good i'm just going to go ahead and scale it up like so and yeah it's actually looking pretty nice and let's say we want to make sure that we straighten all of this mess up let's go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and select the one that's in the middle like so actually going to go ahead and click a to select it all and i think we had these ones over here i'm going to go ahead and hold control deselect this so everything for this line is just selected and we have an act quad over here I'm going to click u follow active quads even and it's going to give us this type of result we might even change this to length based or length average even seems that this one i'm um, just testing out it seems like this one doesn't do it quite as well so let me just go ahead and go at the very bottom we're going to rotate it slightly like so so this one would be more in the middle I'm going to just select the one at the bottom follow like the quads even and there we go i simply had to uh unwrap it again and grab myself a different selection and that seems to give me a more straight type of a solution it's a bit of a twist, but the reason being is that the itself is being twisted away. But as you can see, the grooves and the grain is actually following along quite nicely to the setup. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did do enjoy the video, make sure to like and leave a comment down below as it helps us with the algorithm. And we also appreciate any feedback you give to us. We have a tutorial coming up every Monday, so make sure to subscribe to stay tuned to that. We also sell online courses, which takes you through the entire process from scratch to finish. So for example, this nice environment over here, you can find it on our online course store, which you'll find the link to it in the description down below. We also have a geometry notes that allow you to create things like this vine over here in a balcony so if you want to speed up your workflow i really do recommend you checking them out as well but yeah that's going to be it from me thank you so much for watching and happy modeling everyone